Hello and welcome to the print. I am Mansi Farke, deputy editor. I am in the beautiful state of Goa today in the gorgeous heritage property of Raj Bhavan, and uh, I have with me uh, the Goa governor, Sir uh, P H Tridharan Pillai. Thank you so much for uh, taking out the time at such a short notice and talking to us. Uh, you have written more than uh, I think the exact number is 237, if I am not wrong. We've written 237 books. Uh, how do you find the inspiration and the time? So, from uh, my college days onwards, I was regularly reading and writing. Right. That's a part of my life. I was a politician also at that time, ABVP, uh, in my second year in NSS Pandalam College. Mm -hmm. I was elected as a Malayala Sahitya Vedi general seat right. uh, in, the, in the election. So, first time my organization, uh, Vidyarthi Parishad, got a seat in Kerala. Okay. So at that time, I was in charge of Sahitya. Okay. Sahitya Vedi, Malayalam. Right. So I started, I was forced to start a right uh, magazine. So many things are there. Uh, thereafter, continuously I was uh, writing during the last 50 years. During these 50 years, I had occasion to uh, lead the BJP as its president on two occasions, 2004 and uh, second time 2017. Right. And uh, I was a practicing lawyer, a roaring practice was there, everybody knows that. And uh, because of this uh, constant uh, contact with the people mm -hmm. and uh, getting inspiration from them, my experience uh, on various subjects I had uh, occasion to write. And that is why these books, Nature, Law, Poetry, Across uh, various subjects. Various subjects. Yeah. So that uh, in a way that I am continuing still. Uh, during the last four years I was the governor. Uh, and still I am in Goa. Before that I was in uh, Mysore. Mysore. Yes. So how is your, uh, how, what kind of writing discipline do you follow? Now in Goa itself, uh, you have written multiple books on various aspects of the state. And uh, it's actually only been three years with two major elections. Yes. One assembly election and the Lok Sabha election that... Uh, uh, you know, went by. Uh, how do you find the time? What kind? How do you? So you know? that is uh, my experience in Goa. Of course, it was an excellent experience in my life. Mm. So all the uh, villages, I mean, near nearing uh, five hundred, uh, I travel uh, village visit. Okay. Uh, Grama yatra, and in that Grama yatra. Uh, concerned MLAs are also, uh, whether a ruling right. party or opposition party, they were also with me. Right. Cordial relationship with the MLAs are there. Then, while I am traveling, uh, I am studying about Goa, mm. its ins and outs, all things are there. Trad great tradition is there and the people are also peace-loving people. And at the same time, uh, my fund, uh, discretionary fund of the governor and some other fund also, uh, through MLAs, I collected the list of uh, cancer patients and uh, uh, other uh, diabetic patients, etc., etc. Uh, I have uh, uh, I had occasion to go to their village along with the MLA mm. and uh, about three thousand patients. The Raj funds uh, 25,000 each. All right. All given. So, this is an um, uh, at the same time, whenever I am going to the village, mm -hmm. there are charitable institutions also. Uh, my cooperation was there, uh, old age homes, uh, child protection mm -hmm. homes, etc. Temples visited. Through this uh, process, I got uh, so many uh, new I, new. Ideas. Ideas means um, temple, right. church, yes. trees, yes. etc., etc. And uh, because of that, I have written on, um, on nature, hmm. the heritage trees of Goa, Vaman yes. Murchakala, and uh, mountains also. I am writing a book even on the hills of Goa. Which, yes. which is, which is on the pipeline. And uh, uh, islands of Goa also I have written. Yes. Like that, books are writing. One aspect. And another aspect is that uh, sh stories also. Uh, my story in English published from Goa, a uh, publisher published it. So, experience here, right. meeting people, very beautiful environment is there. 
And this Rajivan also 450 year old, uh, oldest uh, yes. uh, Rajivan. And two rivets are uh, joining with the sea, Arabian Sea right. here. It is very beautiful. In between that, In between. see, and that uh, very, 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 very beautiful uh, uh, that uh, forest also is there. Yes. Peacock is there. So many things are there. So that inspiration also prompted me to write. And uh, your book about that Vamana Vruksha Kala, that, that is a particularly interesting thesis that bonsai was actually uh, an Indian technology uh, that travelled to China and later to Japan. Uh, could you talk a little bit more on your yes, research yes, on yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. When I uh, pa uh, passed through a village, a Sanskrit scholar told me that, mm. so we are not giving much importance to our own uh, uh, initiatives in the ancient time. We are always uh, depending on other countries. They are making use of it. And he quoted about uh, this bond sign. Okay. Uh, at that time, I was not aware of this. Then I, uh, I am not a Sanskrit Pandit, hmm. but I enquired from the people and found that in ancient India, before Ramayana, uh, that uh, Vaman Brichakala, hmm. Vaman, we all know that uh, Vaman is our uh, avatar of avatar, Vishnu. Yes. And uh, importance is a dwarf. Small, yes. small yes. dwarf. Vaman, Vircha means tree in all languages. Yes. Kala means art. Yes. It was an art. There is mentioning even in ancient books. And uh, you see, uh, that reference also uh, in Kishkinda, in Ramayana. Kishkinda Udyan is referred there in Ramayana. What was the importance of that? Hmm. 360 days in a year, you are getting flower and uh, fruits from that, various types mm -hmm. of fruits and that. That also substantiate my contention. From Vircha uh, Ayurveda also I got so many information. All I collected and Vaman uh, Vircha Kala, uh, that, that book, my 200th book, uh, Honorable Uvarashtrapati of India released that book. Yes. And after that so many, uh, I, I, I am very happy to see that people now thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Even uh, that uh, Japan's, some officials visited me. Is it okay? And what but visited me. I, 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 I asked about, they asked about my Malayalam anthology of poem in 2004. I published hmm. and uh, its name is this uh, bonsai. Okay. They asked me why this bonsai is given, hmm. name is given, you are... Uh, then I, in my mind, I, I put a question to myself. Why this gentleman is asking about my Malayalam anthology of poems published in 2004, uh, how he came to note it? Yes. Then I found that, uh, of course, uh, we, are, we are not against any country. But at the same time, their tradition, we all know bonsai, that term is originated from Japan. Hmm. Uh, through, people throughout the world, uh, of course, believe that. I'm not I'm not fighting fault with anybody. That uh, this is originated from Japan, hmm. but their history. When I go through certain books, I found that only one thousand years. And China, of course, uh, more than two thousand years they were having this system. And two thousand or two thousand prior to that, it was in India. Hmm. Then certain uh, articles and certain writings I had occasion to see and uh, I talked to many experts on the subject. Then I found that through our Buddhist monks, mm. while they were spreading Buddhism mm. in China and Japan, they carried this. Okay. Through them it reached okay. there. That is my theory. Okay. Of course, it is not a, uh, within my limit I have uh, made such an effort. And that effort has got wonderful response from that. And uh, National Daily, National uh, all, uh, Weeklies and others are also published that. And uh, awakening on this aspect, of yeah. course, I am very happy to see that I started it. I am very happy about it. Yeah. So there is at least a dialogue going on now uh, about this. Yes, yes, so, I started yeah. a dialogue. Right, right, because right. Uh, uh, recently uh, about the subject in uh, uh, Goa, hmm. 
that uh, Japan's Council General inaugurated a conference on this uh, one workshop was there. Okay. It's a good thing. I am not criticizing mm -hmm. it. But they are now uh, noted. I think I noted uh, uh, this development. Maman mm -hmm. because export field also, China is the top uh, country. Export, they are getting very substantial amount also. So that is why as far as the history of this Vaman Mrchagala is concerned, uh, you see, we have got 15,000 species in India. Okay. Uh, some experts I gathered it. Mm. I, I already uh, fairly admitted that I am not a Sanskrit scholar or any expert. Mm. But I studied myself and this book. And through this effort, uh, we will be able to uh, make wonderful uh, results in future about this. And further on in our in Honorable Prime Minister's birthday, right. uh, in uh, 71st birthday, uh, I, I started a garden here, Vaman Vrishchakala okay. Udyan. That Udyan also 71 uh, uh, plants were there at, on that day. Now it is covering more than 1000. And uh, 1,000 means uh, offici uh, our official gardens in India are concerned or governmental or public sector. Uh, this will be the uh, largest. I will go on with this process. Also, since you know, you've written so much about Goa's green cover and not just written remotely, but you've actually traveled and seen and written. Uh, so, you know, there are two contentious issues when it comes to uh, Goa's green cover. One is... Uh, uh, this eco-sensitive zone. So, uh, there is a demand to uh, drop 40 villages out, out of the 99 that have been included in the eco-sensitive zone. And the second sticky issue is uh, declaration of the uh, Made uh, Reserve as a, a sanctuary as a tiger reserve, a part of it, uh, which the government is opposed to. So, since you've also been among the people and you've heard from them, so what is, uh, how do you see these two issues? So, these are uh, subject matters of uh, uh, dispute in courts now. Okay, right. Uh, Madhya the tribunal and tribunal and uh, uh, Goba went to Supreme Court, Supreme Court. Uh, against that. That is also pending. Uh, as far as our uh, country is concerned, uh, unity we can see throughout India. Hmm. But our, our uh, religions are different, hmm. our faith are different. Our caste system different, our food habit different, so many differences are there. But uh, I, I am sure that uh, there is a, 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 our country is concerned, uh, there is unity among the people is there throughout the India. We can see hmm. during the Aurangaseb time, hmm. if a person wanted to go to uh, Kashi, pay Jesia, then people paid Jesia that uh, uh, religious tax mm. and then went to there. Mm. This is a continuing process. So that, that is the basis of our country. And if you think about the main temples in India, mm. who are the Pujaris? In uh, Kashi, one temple, a Tamil Nadu person is, uh, family mm. is conducting pujas. Mm. In Badrina, from uh, uh, Kerala, Brahmin is conducting puja and uh, again, so many places we, we, we take uh, in the extreme end of our uh, India uh, in uh, uh, not, uh, Sri Ramayandra Bhagavan uh, established a temple hmm. near the Sri Lanka's way to Sri Lanka there is a temple Rameshwar, Rameshwar. you see Rameshwar in the temple puja, water from Kashi is being used. Okay. And in, in Kashi temple, one of the temples, I visited the temple also. The name I am not... The soil from uh, Rameshwara is being used. Okay. And water from there is using. Okay. And the pujari is from... Rameshwara temple pujari is from uh, Maharashtra. Acha. So like that we can see... Even through that spiritual line also, mm. unity of the country was there. That is why people from Kerala going to Kashi, right. a dream in their life. Like that nationality is concerned, our patriotic point of view, this is. So, Vamana uh, Prachakala also, 
Vamans Navy is given because of our concept. Right. So that is there and the deep-rooted study on these subjects are beneficial for the uh, unity of the country. Right. And I can quote one more thing. In uh, 1991 or 1992, mm. the Prime Minister of UK, uh, Thatcher, visited uh, Moscow. Then Gorbachev was there. He was very, so panicked. Because they said that our USSR is going to be uh, 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 finished and shattered into pieces. So I am very mad. Then what she advised, you go and see how various sections of the people uh, unitedly living and a classic example is India that was quoted. That is part of the history. So uh, my efforts also, my books are also concerned. That is one of the vital part of my writing. Understood, sir. So, and while the uh, other two issues are in court, uh, the tiger sanctuary and the eco-sensitive zone, but there's also this general um, fear amongst locals that Goa is losing a lot of its green cover and you can see citizen so activists. So, the voices. assembly has passed a, a resolution okay. on that okay. and they moved before the Supreme Court also. Okay. So, as a governor, head of the state, hmm. I am fully supporting the views taken by, by the government. Uh, yes. Absolutely. And when you, you were talking about unity in our country, so there is one aspect where Goa really stands out. So at a time when there is a section of the population in the rest of the country demanding uh, the implementation of the Uniform Civil Code, in Goa there is a version of UCC already in place. Uh, so how is that uh, you know working and what are the benefits and challenges that you see as a governor? So I have studied in detail about this. Hmm. In-depth study in the field also was conducted by me. Okay. In fact, I, uh, I, I, I prepared a book. But in this moment, the uh, governor is uh, uh, not to jump into the that dispute. That is why I have not publishing. Only after my time is You've over. You have written a book I on that, that as well. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> One important thing I noted is that, yes. uh, of course, uh, basically, uh, that uh, personal laws are not... Uh, uh, strictly following and a uniform civil code concept is applied here. Hmm. Against the same, uh, in uh, I think 25, 25 or 30 years back, there was a demand and agitation started by uh, some organization, Muslim organization, personal law board or equivalent to that. Okay. We want our own uh, this uh, personal law. Okay. In Goa? In Goa. Okay. That was defeated. You just look into that aspect. Nobody, ah. much people not aware of that. I studied and records are with me. Okay. The ladies and the youngsters hmm. of the Muslim community, they went to street, hmm. protest against that. Okay. And finally, that was withdrawn. Is that it? agitation. When was this? Which uh, was that, it? Uh, uh, I think, 1988. 1890 1980s or, uh, 1980s okay. or 1990s okay. before 2000 okay before 2000 okay i am i am noted it i have prepared a book actually but i am not publishing <laughs> it for the, you see the the people here they accepted it as a whole got a relationship there is no communal right in in goa and the muslim population 3% now 11% here they are controlling uh, so many fields in the business field but all people are cordial. People are good at heart. This has to be promoted and nourished. In Goa, there is, you know, another issue that is more starkly coming out post-COVID. Because I think during COVID, what happened was a lot of people from elsewhere realized that this is a nice, peaceful place to come and live, come and work. Uh, but in bits and pieces now you can see some animosity uh, towards outsiders and you know that has also given uh, so that, yeah. that trend is everywhere uh, for example once upon a time my uh, my younger days hmm. what was the movement in Mumbai of course it started South Indian me. people especially yes. all this now that particular political parties so many leaders around Kerala. Hmm. Shiva Sena has got a unit in Kerala as well. Hmm. Like that Tamil Nadu. In 1967, 
what was the feeling even kamaraj nadar the most ideological person in politics who lost to a student leader in virudhunagar in chennai uh, at that time madras mm. so that tent was there but uh, now such a type of separation from india mm. could they make such a view no so the, i am saying tamil uh, i mean uh, madras and this is classic example right. so uh, so people are uh, one, uh, one uh, you see problems are there everywhere our country is not a self sufficient country no many problems are there right. for that purpose due to political reasons their own regional reasons such incidents may be there i'm sure that goan people are patriotic people they will never uh, wholeheartedly support any separate separation, separation movement. movement yeah that's it but is there a fear of cultural erosion and uh, how is the government addressing it cultural we are you see bharat of course you see I just to go through the uh, dr ramanur lugas 1946 hmm. speech hmm. that prompted on the, our agitation for liberation in goa started in six places of speech hmm. in 1946 he repeatedly states the unity of hindustan that national unity was the main slogan action raised by him so as a part of that that same footing and same slogan same concept is existing in all political parties of course regional parties may be there yes. they have got freedom to work i am not against anybody but uh, anti national anti indian mm. or uh, even uh, goa for govans only uh, such a slogan is not getting support in goa okay and this and you know you have uh, also written a book on the seven heritage islands of goa then you yes, have yes, heritage yes. trees of goa uh, yes, yes. and of course uh, the vamana vrikshakala you came across the concept in goa and you are also writing about the hills but uh, in goa tourism somehow goa somehow gets typecast within its uh, beaches probably yes, yes. Uh, do you think more needs to be done to promote heritage aspects uh, of goa for tourism uh, yes yes in my books my travel our villages are more beauti- beautiful than uh, towns yes so we are nobody is going there yes for tourism there is wide chances there mm. for expanding to villages mm. and at the same time you see temple for example if we take the case of india brahma vishnu maheshwara that is a hindu concept mm. brahma temple not normally we can see in a, in a other places it is a very beautiful brahma temple is there okay. concept also different if a person of because of de- in the devotion of sanadana dharma mm. if he wants to go this is the best place in of course i am in rajasthan there is a temple i know that mm. like that uh, uh, medical tourism also is there mm. very good mm. chance is there and the spiritual tourism chance is there uh, in my uh, my book the skirtage trees of goa uh, so many churches uh, i have given okay. in that book is that all these are connected to the tradition of the country mm. for example one uh, uh, main church is concerned there is a tree big tree okay. name i am not remembering i have given it in my book okay. but right in the middle of the church ah, so that that protecting from lightning this tree that is a concern okay. such a so many things are there and uh, goa is concerned one more important thing is there now in india even 19 prior to 1947 hmm. we are following anglo saxon system of law what is the in the criminal field benevited doubt and other things are go to accuse and the french system portugal system and other system in the world is that was existing here mm. till 1961 what was the system at that time the accused person prove his innocence mm. indian system is that 
ിയും so in so many things in our arts are concerned kavi arts kavi arts yeah i have con- conducted a convention and that is disappearing day by day then i i went to that uh, that uh, kavi arts kavi is the color of the church and uh, that uh, artwork yeah that was uh, 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 disappearing from goa okay. now for the revival two days uh, when that workshop was conducted by me promoted them given them financial help and now developing so it's a beautiful place and our that uh, you also had this uh, heritage tree uh, symposium just a couple of months ago Car- yes, yes yes that is about yeah. that that the writing like yes. that so uh, i am a workaholic person throughout mm-hmm. my life while i was a state president of the bjp on two occasions most probably i may be the only person one day i went to i court okay eking my livelihood out of that and my life also was like that so that uh, both i was handling state presidentship as well as the lawyer uh, lawyership right so that is my way of like workaholic now i am very happy because i am doing all these things right. and uh, going to places and contacting people and uh, the present uh, bihar governor one of his articles he has stated that uh, goa Uh, raj bhavan is a lok bhavan hmm. so people are coming and other things are there yeah. and people are supreme not governor is supreme hmm. people are supreme under the constitution of india uh, people are supreme and since you spoke about your stint as uh, the kerala bjp president i would also like to ask you this time the bjp uh, managed to for the first time get an mp elected not as an nda uh, mp but as a bjp mp in kerala So, what were the factors that uh, worked in so, favor uh, of the party? Wow, a dark question of politics. <laughs> I am not expected to answer. Anyway, uh, throughout my life, I was a BJP person. I am very happy to see that uh, a positive change is seen in that aspect. Because I was written a book on emergency, dark days of democracy. I was published that book in English okay. in 2018 before I become the governor. Okay. And our honorable prime minister released that book at that time. Mm. And the second edition is coming before uh, uh, 50th uh, year of emergency. That is 1925. Right. So I am preparing that again. Okay. You see, our prime minister at that time was a, a sick dress he was using and underground work was doing at that time. He's an youngster. Mm. dedicated for the cause of the nation during emergency during the time of emergency you see press censorship was introduced mm. if a newspaper wanted to publish its uh, its paper on the next day at about 10, 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock go to the presiding of uh, that uh, uh, officer mm. concerned censorship officer obtain his signature then only publish this is happened in, you are not remembering that you were not born, born at that time so <laughs> yeah. this happened in our country fundamental rights suspended if a if a if a out of a sheer uh, uh, enmity if a police officer beaten and kill a citizen he can't approach court hmm. and all opposition leaders were in jail so such types of cruel and uh, further i would like to say i have written a book on that i can say what was the turkuman gate incident yeah. so turkuman gate incident you see mm. turkuman gate destroyed the houses of a particular community minority community i am not mentioning the you imagine turkuman area and then what happened there this is a shack commission's finding mm. finding of a, that finding is accepted by parliament so public document why they destroyed and mm. their copy of that in 1980 when the another 
the lady honorable prime minister came into power he destroyed then erachariya 89 year old patient from tamil nadu now he is no more last year he lost his life he went to australia and obtained a copy from there from the library there and remaking of shaka commission is there then shaka commission's fighting is that you see turkuman gate the people who are uh, uh, walking through the street may be taken the dress is changed then determine belongs to which community which religion i mean which religion and uh, that uh, family planning and other things and uh, uh, that was done mm. i am not going to the details yeah. because i don't want to make any controversy on that but it is who is thinking about all these things 49 years back what is what was happened in india this types of things mm. then they are all uh, raising their voice we are protectors of minority or protectors of human rights or protectors of our democracy mm. so we let it, uh, b- 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 that uh, a speaker what is stated yesterday is a good thing we will study all these things not to harass people on that basis but for the p- purpose of history that so all public documents are destroying mm. who destroyed it in my book that is there i will show it to you after that about in 2018 i what i i was written that uh, how they destroyed it and other things are Uh, mentioned in my book i will show you it you plan to uh, publish an updated version uh, next uh, yes, year yes, to coincide and that. then i am thinking to our honorable prime ministers uh-huh. that uh, underground works also i want to include in, include in the uh, okay all right um and you know they, when you took oath also as governor you had said and even right, right now throughout the interview you've been very clear that you a governor is not expected to make political statements yes, yes. Uh, yet in the country we see that uh, in states such as west bengal or tamil nadu where an opposition government is in power there is always friction between the governor's office and the government how do you see that having you know so been governor I, in the state if i am saying my frank opinion also <laughs> that man that matter is now pending before the supreme court article 161 yes, and other is. things yes. are there so i am not uh, <laughs> making any comment sorry <laughs> all right all right and you've been governor of mizoram and now governor of goa uh, what would you say have the similarities and the different kind of challenges that both states have brought for you so the you see goa per capita income we are in the top but mizoram per kit per capita income wise or income wise they are the last but in indian happiness index studies hmm. shows that the happiest people in india is mizoram people not our goan people so this is a matter to be why financially you see the number of vehicles here hmm. is more than the number of population here everybody is having two two wheels or a uh, car or whatever maybe all facilities are there even public conveyance is not much required in mm. many places so that much uh, confident people are there rich people are there or um, uh, financially they are um, somewhat affluent right but um, in mizoram the lowest financial position that was enjo- uh, that was the pathetic condition of goa but they are happy so what is the indication of happy happiness and richness is a matter to be studied i am talking in many cases did you write a book on that exploring <laughs> yes, that yes, subject after after my conversion <laughs> and you know while you were in mizoram i was just told that uh, it was an 18 month uh, stint right for 21, 18, 21 months 21 months uh, in 21 months you've written 20 books in yes, mizoram yes, that time, that at that time because of the covid i yeah. got chance and 38 books i have written 38 okay wow and what were the topics like in mizoram uh, one one is the uh, o mizoram i will okay. give you i will give you a copy that is one of the uh, my english poems the 40 40 poems are there in google that was prepared at that time i think that is one of the greatest achievements okay. for uh, normally i am having a sufficient speed in writing books and uh, reading also that 
பட் திஸ் புக்கு போயம்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் போயம்ஸ் ஐ டுக் மோர் டைம் மோர் சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் ஐ எம் யூசிங் த வேர்ட் சாக்ரிஃபைஸ் ஃபார் தட் தட் இஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் பெரி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் பிகுலர் தட் கோவிட் பீரியட் ஐ கான் ட்ராவல் அண்ட் ஸோ ஐ ஸ்பெண்ட் ஆல் திஸ் டைம் Right. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for the lovely conversation, sir. Uh, Thank you very much. And uh, you visited me. I am very happy. And uh, your uh, media also very reputed one. Thank you so much. According to my information. Thanks yes, a lot, sir. Yes. And thank you to our viewers for watching.